si Maringo. Maringo, I'm highly favored. You know, even though tunaingia 2024, highly favored with thanksgiving in our mouth, with praises in our heart. Hello, guys, this is JC Sako. Thank you for, for always being with us and for tuning in from the top of the hour, from 11 a.m. You're still, we are still here, all right? And by right about now, all right, we are so blessed and so honored to have amazing guest, and I tell Pastor Eugene, and we are so honored to have you here with us. Because we began this discussion of Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Lafulau tunasema Thanksgiving is the master key. Nini, nini, Thanksgiving, what do you mean by master key or key? Ufungua aje or it's the password. Unajua sansa hande dinatwambe it's the password. Eh? Of course, we thank you, it's the password. What do we mean by Thanksgiving is the password? But to break that down, you know, it is Pastor Eugene will help us do that. Pasi, karibu sana. Wow. <laughs> thank you, Miriam. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm blessed to be here. Mm -hmm. And I thank God. I because I know you, Pasi. Your energy level is usually 100. Me, mm. I'm going 50. I try to rise to your level. I am. No, 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 no. I'm at Tulia. I'm at Tulia. To na press down resolution. Eh. Mwana njia yima kwa watu amadiga resolution. Sijui kama zina wanga na muhimu zana resolution. Tunaweza try. Tunaweza try mwaka. We can try to at least tuandike zetu. Kuna vile zita tupeleka. Abadhi ni ile mwaka ni mamua siandiki. Eh. Ah, ilizi. Wacha kaende. But kuna vitu najua zile you just personal things with God. But at you know 2024 I want to gain weight. 2024, I want to grow taller. Hizo ndo vitu siandiki. Hizo uwezani. Hizo uwezani. Wacha kaende 2024, wacha tu kaende. Yeah, I bless God. Yeah, thank you for inviting me here. It's such an honor. It's my first time to be to be in this place. Wow. I must have first time to have. Since Adam. Since the foundation. Since Adam. Uh, <laughs> all right, but this day was ordained to happen. Uh, all yes. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But who is Pastor Eugene? Because I first met you for the very first time. Who is Pastor, Pastor yeah. Eugene? Pastor Eugene is a, mm -hmm. a born-again man mm -hmm. um, that God has, has saved. Um, my name is uh, Eugene Moraithi, mm -hmm. uh, pastor in Life Church Limuru, mm -hmm. and uh, Pastor T. Mwangi. Mm -hmm. We pastor there. I serve there full-time, and I bless God. Mm -hmm. I'm a man of one wife. Uh, that happens to be a woman. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> what La to emphasize. Lazima okay. clarification. <laughs> <laughs> By the name of Miriam. Mm -hmm. uh, My name is Ek. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, wow. mm. and I bless God. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was just coming from church, so mm -hmm. I left her there. And then I came. Amazing, mm -hmm. yeah. amazing. But I see what is God saying. What is God saying in 2024? 2024, what is God saying to you? Um, mm -hmm. God is saying many things to many people. <laughs> exactly. And different things to different people. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, all of us, we are in different stages in life. Mm -hmm. We are believing God for different things mm -hmm. uh, in the year 2024. And I believe that um, God is not tied to what one man will say mm -hmm. or what ought to happen for one man. Mm -hmm. uh, he's the God of the old. He's the God of the young. I know there are people who will be born this year. Still, God will speak concerning them. There are people who, unfortunately, mm -hmm. will have to exit this year. Mm -hmm. Still, God will speak to them mm -hmm. as they exit. Uh, but most importantly, is um, uh, sometimes God will give a word that will guide men in a season. And the Bible speaks about a particular group of people that were called the sons of Issachar. They understood the times. Mm -hmm. So in the times that we are living in, um, God is calling us to a place uh, of, of consecration, mm -hmm. a place where uh, you understand what God has called you for, what you are born for, what is your purpose, and now you begin to take action. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe this is the year where we, we need to bridge the gap between what we know and what we ought to do, because um, for a long time people, the reason is why, when mm -hmm. we began we were speaking about um, writing resolutions. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you'll write something because of what you know mm -hmm. or what you've been exposed to. Mm -hmm. But I believe this is a time, besides just writing, we bridge the gap between what we know, turning our potential to become results. And that is we have to move from um, um, just knowing things and studying mm -hmm. to taking action. So I believe this is a year to take action. Mm -hmm. Take action on what you know. Bridge mm -hmm. that gap. <laughs> Bridging mm -hmm. the gap. Guys, yes. in Ochaniwa Siri, this is the point you take your notebook and pen. Because, guys, <laughs> mm -hmm. because if it's just, 
if it's not on paper, it's vapor, it's it will vapor, disappear, yeah. you will forget about it. But if you write it down, utaikutananizing notes, maybe in April, March, April, May, June, Kule, July, August. Say, my guy, this word, I wrote it somewhere. True. I wrote it. So you're going to remember it and it's going to help you. Pastor Eugene, yes. I know you just, you did not just wake up huh? mm. and you became a pastor. Mm. There was a journey to that. True. Yeah. Huh? True, it's a journey. And um, being a pastor is not like uh, being a doctor. <laughs> the, 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 I know there are, there are things we are, we are trained for. Mm. And uh, sometimes um, when it comes to callings, sometimes you will be called and then God will demand that uh, you now be trained for what he has called you. Mm. David was a young man, 16 years, 17 years of age. Mm. And God tells Samuel in the book of First Samuel 16 that I have found a king. Uh, little did Samuel know mm. he's a young man. Uh, he, ako mahali anachunga kondo, mm. ako mahali ata ajaoga, meparara. Mm. And so when, the, when he appeared, he appeared as a rudy young boy. Mm -hmm. In fact, that is uh, what the Bible says, that a rudy young man. But they could not sit until he appeared. And now after he was ordained or he was called into kingship, he did not go straight to the throne. There was a season of training. And so um, by the grace of God, I, uh, I happened to, 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 to to have received Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, yes, at an early age, mm -hmm. but uh, also um, before that, um, a lot had happened. Mm -hmm. But um, I bless God because when I got born again, I found a church and I began serving there. I never knew, I never wanted, I never knew that one day I would be a pastor. You never if wanted. You, <laughs> yeah, if you asked me, that was the last thing <laughs> in my mind, <laughs> that uh, one day I would be here seated saying, uh, uh, my name is <laughs> Eugene Moredi, I serve as a pastor. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to serve God, mm -hmm. and sometimes it is in that service uh, that God locates you, and now uh, he commissions you or he calls you, and now he, that confirmation is sent to your leaders, of course, to your fathers, of course, mm -hmm. and you are ordained or you are called and you are commissioned as a pastor, mm -hmm. and we bless God. Yeah, yeah. and I've also seen you serving in high school mission. Yes, yes. Yeah. When did this journey of serving high school mission, when did it begin and how has it been for you? Um, I, I can't say when the journey began mm. because I'm still young. I'm still <laughs> young. I'm in my mid thirties. I'm still young, mm -hmm. and um, I, I believe that every generation has its voice. Yes. And uh, one thing that I, I, it's always clear in my mind, mm. I can't preach to my father. And even when I do so, maybe the preacher who ought to have preached to him failed. Um, our parents, our fathers, there were preachers that were there were voices that were ordained for that generation. Mm. And so, as a young man, I believe that I am ordained for my generation. Mm. This voice carries certain instructions, carries certain graces, carries certain wisdoms mm -hmm. for our days because every generation has its own wisdoms, has its mm. own uh, things that they are going through. Uh, I, I, I saw a post yes. uh, two days ago mm. of an elderly man uh, who, who say that mm -hmm. in our days, during our days, uh, it, it, took, uh, it took some extra things for you to see certain things uh, or for you to be able to, to I, I will talk in parables, for you to be able to see. But today you just, <laughs> you, just <laughs> open, <laughs> you just open your phone and uh, wow, mm. everything is, is, is on display. Mm. Uh, he was trying to talk about oh. uh, how people dress. And, yeah, yeah. and he said during his days, uh, they used to cover up. But today, mm -hmm. uh, he doesn't need to, to <laughs> think about it. Just two <laughs> seconds and you've seen everything. So that is to tell you things are changing mm. and uh, things are evolving. Mm. And uh, what our fathers faced, of course, it's what we are facing, but now in a different form. Mm. And we are, that, we are that voice that is speaking to our generation. <laughs> and so my passion is in, in young people uh, because that is where, again, our legacy lies. Mm -hmm. uh, our generation will not fail. Tuko hapa. Hii generation lazima tutaomba. Lazima tutaokoka. Tutajaza maklabu ko. Tutajaza church. Hii ni legend. Tutajaza church. Tutajaza kesha. Yeah. Na unanjama lwa sa wengu wogopa high school. Ya wase wogopa high school. High school ni noma. Eh, ni kunoma. High school lakuna sadaka. High school lakuna amen. High school una preacher lafu mtuna inuwa mkono. Oda what? Oda what? Why am I forgetting this one? Iyo sadaka, honorarium. Yeah, honorarium. Yeah, kunanga iyo. Iyo akuna. Unamaliza kupreach unayake wa getheri. Pia kuna mafuta ya ata. Na umemari, unafika home. Mambo mbae. Kumia ni maticha wa high school aliyaribu yo mambo. 
Kama unashika hiyo joke unashika next year. Bado ni mapema unashika feb. Unashika. Hata tu watu wa high school. Bali kama end of January. Let's focus. But anyway, we are talking about Thanksgiving today. Sure. Yeah, but you know what? What is Thanksgiving? Because kuna Thanksgiving na kuna praise. Kuna difference ya hizo mbili? Yeah, uh, you see, mm -hmm. um, kuna difference. Mm -hmm. um, praise, praise is just um, just the way you will define praise. Uh, Kukiswele tunasema sifa. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you are translating. Kusifu ni ku, mm -hmm. kujua what this man has done and now you to just give accolades, mm. to just appreciate. That is uh, praise, yeah? But when it comes to thanksgiving, is to say thank you, mm. to, to show gratitude for what that person has done. Not just to acknowledge, mm -hmm. but just to say, to say thank mm -hmm. you. And uh, that, is, that is different. Th there's a difference, yeah. Yeah, there's a difference. Oh, yeah. Clearly, there's a huge, huge difference. Now, for a believer, mm. Sema thanksgiving is just saying thank you. Mm. Not just to make 2024, but to kutanga church mob. Mm. Zinangoje ya December na tunasema thank you. Mm -hmm. Like easy, easy times zingine atu, atuja shugulika. Mm -hmm. In fact, tumina kujanga kwa God na shopping list. Mm -hmm. Hey God, mwaka, mwaka. Kisha fika December, kai. Mm -hmm. Atuja ambia mungu thank you. Mm -hmm. How often should a believer say thank you to God? How often should a mm -hmm. believer say thank you to God? Mm -hmm. um, for us, because uh, now we are, we are beginning the year 2024. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad because you've chosen this to be your... Uh, entry point. Yes, yes. Uh, I did it on purpose. Intention. Wow. I was very intentional about wow. it. Mm. Yeah, this, this, this is very prophetic mm. because uh, when you read Psalm 100 and verse number 4, mm. uh, according to the Message Bible and, 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 and in the era that we are living in, mm. uh, you can get that translation even in your phone. Uh, it says that enter with the password, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, other translations say enter enter the gates, enter, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Mm. But the message Bible is special. It says that uh, because it captures the Hebrew mind uh, through communication, what the Hebrew mind uh, was trying to mm -hmm. communicate mm. or that inspiration because that inspiration was given to a Hebrew man. So it tries to capture that Hebrew thought. Mm. And so it says enter with the password, thank you. Mm -hmm. And so that opens us up to understand that thanksgiving is not just something we we just wake up and we, we, we wish to do. Mm -hmm. It is a password. It is something that gives us access to something. So it says enter with the password, thank you. Where are we entering? If you want to access God, if you want to access, not just even God. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met someone that you mm -hmm. did something for and they were grateful for that thing? Yeah. You always go the extra mile. If they okay. will come again, they have now access. But if you do something today even to someone or mm. for someone yes. and they don't say thank you, next time they come, no matter how urgent, no matter how um, uh, of an emergency it is, mm -hmm. you might hold back because mm -hmm. this man is not grateful. So it denies men access or it grants men access. So Thanksgiving, as you said when, when, when we were starting off, mm -hmm. uh, is that Thanksgiving is a, is a, is a master key, mm -hmm. is a master password or passcode, if, mm -hmm. if we'll say that, uh, because it just does not give you access to God, but it also gives you access to the things of God. Mm -hmm. It does not just give you access to men, it also gives you access to the things of men. Mm -hmm. After this show, I will be so careful to, to tell the cameramen <laughs> and all the people here, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you next time, what you could wear shorts fit you. Know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so mm -hmm. it, it, it is a password. It is a pass of entry, mm -hmm. both to God and to the things of God, both to man and to the things of man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thanksgiving is a password. Yes, and I was going through your notes, yeah. and you gave like 10 keys. Mm -hmm. Is maybe you can just take us through some of them. Okay. Or all of them. Okay. Uh, we have wow. time. We have time. Wow. Mungu ni nani? Kwa platform ya kuhubiri. Uhubiri pasi. Uhubiri. Hile kamera sasa. Okay. Mm. Um, allow us to just learn something uh, even as we enter into 2024. Mm. And uh, because now we have decided and uh, God has brought us here, uh, it is important that we become intentional to thank him in 2024. And uh, if you have your Bibles wherever you are, and if you're writing wherever you are, uh, the Bible says in the book of Philippians, chapter number four, from verse number six to verse number seven, it says that be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer, uh, uh, by prayer. And, and then it adds something, it says, with thanksgiving. Whether you're doing prayer or supplication, there is an accompaniment to the things that we will do in the year 2024. And the accompaniment the common denominator is thanksgiving. Thanksgiving should accompany everything you do 
when you come to pray, when you stand to preach, thanksgiving is what accompanies what you do. And I had said this earlier even before we began, uh, or before I began teaching, is that uh, thanksgiving is a path of entry, both to God and to the things of God. And so I'll just give us a few points, and I will try to rush as fast as I can. And if you're writing, you can write. This will help you in this year, 2024. That we see, uh, according to the book of Luke, chapter number 17, from verse number 16 to 19, we learn that thanksgiving is the key to wholeness. I'll give you 10 or 12 keys uh, about thanksgiving so that when you uh, engage this accompaniment called thanksgiving throughout the year 2024, you will be equipped and you will be loaded. The scripture says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. So knowledge will establish you, knowledge will ground you. According to this scripture, we learn that Jesus meets 10 lepers and they cry to him and they say, heal us. And he has mercy on them and he tells them, go and show yourselves to the priest. And what happens uh, in that scripture, in that portion of the scripture from verse number 16 to 19, is that when they were going, as Jesus had instructed, uh, on their way, they were healed. And the Bible says that one of them realizing that they have already uh, been healed, he turned back. He never went on with the journey. He stopped at that particular point where that healing happened or he, re he, re he realized that the healing had happened and he turned back to Jesus because it is Jesus who healed him. So there was no need for him to go and show himself to the priest. Uh, and so when he turned back, Jesus said to him, because you have come, because you have come, he said to him, because you have come, uh, uh, you are whole. You're not just healed, you are whole. And we see that Jesus bringing up a statement that were they, were they not ten that were healed, where are the nine? So any man that turns back to say thank you, he receives the key to wholeness. Number two, we see that thanksgiving is the key to multiplication. Thanksgiving is the key to multiplication. If you're a student of the Bible and you read Je uh, Matthew chapter number 14 and verse number 19, we come to see that Jesus directing the people, he was feeding a multitude and he directed the people to sit down. But what intrigues me in that portion of the scripture is that when the people were sat down, Jesus had bread on his hand and he had fish on his hands. And, and the Bible says that he lifted up the, the, the five loaves of, of bread and the two pieces of fish and he gave thanks. And that which was a lunch for a boy uh, became something that could feed 5,000 men, notwithstanding or not counting women and children. We see that through this thanksgiving multiplied the food that a, a lunchbox of a young boy could feed 5,000 men. Through thanksgiving, the Bible said that he gave thanks. Number three, I'm trying to go as fast as I can, is that thanksgiving is the key to victorious living. I'm giving you the keys uh, that thanksgiving is all about. When you understand these keys, you will live a victorious life. Thanksgiving, number three, is the key to victorious living. What victory does, uh, uh, what I would say is that uh, victory does not come entirely as a result of ability. That is, that is true that you can get victory as a result of your ability, as a result of your papers. But there are certain doors that can only be opened through thanksgiving. Today I'm here, not because of any other thing, but perhaps just because of being grateful of the small things that men have done, small things, appreciating small connections that God has given you. And, and, and now they become big opportunities. And so thanksgiving is the key uh, to victorious living. And if you're writing, the Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number uh, 2 and verse number 14, it it says, now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ Jesus, that who always leads us in triumph in Christ and through us diffuses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. That every place you go, you have to understand this, that it is the Lord who has led you there so that you may triumph in Christ. And through your triumph, now his fragrance can be diffused all across the globe. Today I'm here. Why? Because God has opened the door. God has led me. God has led you. I don't know where you are in life, but you can live a victorious life through thanksgiving. If you're writing 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 57 and also Romans 9 and verse number 16. Uh, uh, number four is that thanksgiving is the key to confirmation of God's leading. Miriam, I don't know if you have ever yes. come to a place where you desire God to give you direction. Mm -hmm. You desire to, to, to experience a, a certain leading. For example, like, mm -hmm. like right now, many of us, we are stranded or we could be stranded. Mm -hmm. We don't know what to do with the year 2024. Exactly. Because what we thought would happen in 2023 
is yet to happen. Mm. And now we are again starting a new year and we desire that God will lead us. Thanksgiving becomes the key to open that place of confirmation. Begin to thank God that you went through last year victoriously. I don't know how last year was, but I know how this year will be. I know that God can lead you through this year. I don't know how stranded you were in last year, mm. but Thanksgiving can become your key to confirmation of God's leading. There is something that happens when men thank God, it is very important for you to understand. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 4, verse number 30 and verse number 33, the Bible says that when we are in distress and all these things come upon you in the latter days, when you turn to the Lord your God and obey his voice, there is a voice that directs men. In verse number 33 says, did any people ever hear the voice of God speaking out in the midst of the fire as you have heard and lived? There is a voice that gives men life. There is a voice that confirms the leading of God upon them. And that is the voice of God. And that's why the book of 2 Corinthians 8 and verse number 16, the Bible says, Thanks be to God who put in, in the heart or into the heart of Titus the same concern I have for you. This is Paul speaking and he saying, The same thing that I had, it was confirmed. It is confirmed to me because it is the same thing that was in the heart of Titus. I pray that God will send men who will confirm what you ought to do, where you ought to be in your career, in your life, whatever you desire God to lead you. Through thanksgiving, you can access that key. That thanks be to God who confirmed it. Number five is that thanksgiving is the key to deliverance. Let me tell you, people of God, the Bible talks about Mount Zion uh, being the place of deliverance. When we come to pray, Mount Zion is not a physical place. Mount Zion is a realization, is a revelation that men have that if you can encounter God, you, ex or you encounter or you experience deliverance. That upon Mount Zion, Obadiah 117, that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and there shall be holiness. When a man encounters God, deliverance is, is, is made manifest. And so thanksgiving is the key to deliverance. Romans 7 verse number 25. That thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus our Lord. That is according to the NIV version. That thanks be to God who delivers me. I pray that let this be the year. I know there are things, there are cycles that kept on re, 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 reoccurring in your life. There are things that keep on reoccurring every year. But let this be the year of exemption. That what happened last year, January, will not happen this year. What happened through last year? Uh, through the months. Uh, they are what we call clocks and, uh, and, 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 and calendars uh, that sometimes are pioneered by demonic entities. Uh, but I announce that through thanksgiving, as you thank God for the year 2024, let you be exempted and let you be delivered from those things. That thanks be to God who delivers me through Christ Jesus our Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, number six is that thanksgiving is the key to approaching God. Thanksgiving is the key to approaching God. It is one thing to have access to someone, but it is another thing to learn the art of approaching that individual. Today you can have access to state house, but how do you approach the president? How do you approach the presidency? Because the president, the president is not a person. He, pre he represents an office, the presidency. You can have access to, to a higher office, but how do you approach uh, that office. It is important for you to understand that thanksgiving is the key to approaching God. The Bible says in the book where we read Psalm 100 and verse number 4, but also in the book of Psalm 95 and verse number 2, it says, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, that let us shout joyfully to him with psalms, that how we come before the presence of God is with thanksgiving. I say thanksgiving is an accompaniment. Today, be deliberate, be intentional. When you come before for people, whether they are small before your eyes or they are great before your eyes, learn to say thank you. When somebody opens the door for you, mm. when somebody gives you access, when somebody uh, 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 guides you, like today when I was coming, people had to guide me because I've never been here. They told me, go and pack there, go and do this. I had to say thank you. I don't assume that this is what you're paid for or this is what you ought to do. No, be intentional to just say thank you. It will give you access to approaching Men. Yes, Amen. Those are six points. <laughs> Those are six wow. points. Yes. We we are left with so many points. Yeah. If yeah. If, if I'm not wrong, mm. I think we should do part two. Ah. You you try me to pass. So pass you are promising. <laughs> <laughs> I know we have left it hanging, but yes, time yes, is not yes. on our side. Wow. Actually, to make one, and you're supposed to wrap it up. Wow. So can we do part two? Yes. Yes. Next Sunday. <laughs> Because you have not even t t told us about why 
why most believers feel there is no need for me to return true, true, and say true. thank you. Wow. Yes, wow. because I, I need you to close with a word of prayer, lead people to salvation. Wow. So, Pasi. It is well. <laughs> it is well, Sim Zuri. It is well with our soul. It is well, Sim Zuri. We will, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we shall do it. Yes, yes. Yes, same time. Na jona ni weka on the spot. Eh, no, no, no. Don't you commit. <laughs> don't you commit. <laughs> Yeah, we, 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 we shall do. One. We yeah. shall do. Guys, I don't. Hey, ni mo baja aja wa show. I mean, I 2.6 in Africa. I'm packing 3.11, and there's also reasons why we don't. We feel there's no need for us to go back and say thank you. To me, to me, to me, funguli wa your biz. God has opened that door, and we're like, nah. Ah, see, ata ata. Akuna aja mi mi kwenda kusema thank you. There is a reason. There is a reason. You take things for granted. Mm. There are like 10 reasons why we don't say thank you. And he has not mentioned them. So no, he's Jesus. coming back next Sunday to tell us all that. But right about now, there's someone who has begun the year and wants to receive Christ. Yeah. Lead that person to, to God right wow. now. It's, yes. Im it's important that you begin this year with God. You can begin this year with a job. You can begin this year working. But that is not a guarantee to sustain us. It is only God that can sustain your life. Mm -hmm. Every other thing is a shaky foundation. And my prayer is that you will make God your foundation. And the foundation is Jesus Christ. Have a relationship with him. And if you're not born again, just repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus today, today I accept you I accept and I you receive you receive as you. my Lord as my and, my and my Savior. If you've made that simple prayer, mm -hmm. you have invited him into your heart. He mm -hmm. will guide you. Find a, a Bible-believing church and just join. Tell them you've, you've, you've gotten born again and you will desire to be discipled. Mm -hmm. And I know even from this platform, they can give you the contacts. You can be able to reach out mm -hmm. uh, churches, people, men of God that will be able to disciple you and to guide you. God bless you. I love you all with the love of God and happy new year. Unatombe happy new year and how can people reach you? Wow. Yeah, people need to reach you and get all these notes and these revelations <laughs> that you have. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can, you, you can, you can reach us. Uh, we serve at Life Church uh, International Limuru. Mm -hmm. And um, if you come there, uh, you, can reach at, you can reach us there. But personally, uh, you can reach me on Facebook, uh, Eugene Moraithi, uh, or Sir Eugene Moraithi. Um, uh, you can just reach us there and... Uh, and uh, we can be able to pick it up from there. Yes, yeah. Eugene Bravey, across yeah. the social media platform. Uko Facebook, uko Instagram. Niko Instagram, eh, uko X. India TikTok. Oh, <laughs> but uko X pia? X siko, by the way, utaniweka ho. Iyo kitu inaendaji. Oja nita kujo inisha after show. But right about now, thank you so much to everyone who tuned in. And you see your final words to Kienda? Yeah, to Patana Benedict Tower from 2 p.m. Hey. Um, but you happy new year. Uh, happy new year to you too. All mm. right, guys. Across all social media platforms, it's Miriam Masava. And remember, the repeat for the show is tonight at 9 30 p.m. Pastor Eugene, pray for us as we finalize. Bye, guys. And now to Kienda. To Nayenda for real. <laughs> Amen. Pasi. Father, in the name of mm. Jesus, thank you for this year. Thank mm. you for allowing us and giving us the opportunity to enter into this year with thanksgiving. And so we thank you for allowing us. And the Bible says that, God, we enter with thanksgiving. We declare we enter into this year, not in any other style, but to say thank you because you have allowed us to see this year. And I know that all your purposes for our lives will be made manifest. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good music for me. Bye-bye now you know that go spell in a bambag. Yeah, I we are bringing two gospel. JC Circle. Gospel 100%. Bumba Uko JC Circle. You need miracle. All right. You need miracle. What's the name of Jana? 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 Spin Doctor. Bulizi ya uambiwe. Shoya JC Circle ni kaliwe. Hini mbwaya. What's up? Tunadai, tunadai, tunadai. Hatu Doki. Tu JC Circle.